Can you just give us a bit of an insight of uh, where that thought bubble came from and how it developed? Well, it was, it, yes, it, 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 look, people have, People remember it all so well and people say to me, well, that's your greatest achievement. Well, to me it wasn't because it was getting the game the credibility and then to me the, the, the greatest achievement was expanse, expansion. But our marketing department and our, ad, our advertising agency, Hertz Walpole, had said, well, look, and we all knew that our statistics were showing we were solely a male-dominated sport uh, played by men watched by men, and the theme was to change it. And that's what I came up with a wonderful theme of what you see is what you get. Uh, and it was it was a, a great tune by Tina Turner. Well, Tina and Ike Turner used to come to Sydney and they were very popular. And, and again, we were able to – Tina was managed by uh, Roger Davies, who was a, a, an Australian from – from Melbourne and, and Roger agreed to us using the music. But no one could sing that music like Tina Turner. And so we decided to try to get Tina Turner. And Roger said, well, you've got one day if you want to do this in London uh, to film, if you want to do that. And Jim Walpole and I got on a plane to London. Uh, we filmed that first commercial, uh, which was outstanding when all awards for sport and then uh, you know I always thought that that would be the one and only because it got a lot of flack about why we were using a black American grandmother to promote well, the game of sport but it's but the when greatest it came out it uh, yes it did and but it's in, you know within that six month period because it was also good for Tina uh, Roger had rung us and said look we've got another uh, a recording that's going to be a Tina Turner new song on a new album, and I think it's going to be. I think it's written for sport. You better get over to America to, and have a look at it. And so again, the board allowed myself and Jim Walpole to go to America, where uh, we heard this wonderful track called "Simply the Best," and it yeah. wasn't even recorded at that time, but we were able to buy it for the Southern Hemisphere. And have Tina do it, and it naturally became and still is an anthem that uh, is acknowledged with rugby league. It should be. It's the greatest advertising campaign, humbly, as a as a little media buyer and ad agency, and it should still be the anthem for rugby league. In no matter, you know, they they can remix it, they can do whatever they like, but uh, it's inclusive. It's an anthem. It'll stand for all time. And for mine, Gibbo, it probably should still be the rugby league anthem all time. Just an unbel ahead of its time. Absolute cracker.